What is up you guys? It's your girl Adriana XO1 and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how you can travel with your pet on an airline within India. So if you guys would like to know more, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I've recently shifted cities because I'm finally done with college. I really want to make like a big hunting series about Nift and why it sucks. Um, but yeah, I'm done with college. I'm finally in a new town. I'm in Bangalore now. And yeah, it's pretty big changes in my life. And so when I had to shift to Bangalore from Bombay, I was stuck with a dilemma on how to shift Mochi. This is Mochi. Say hi. And Mochi is a beautiful Persian cat. And I was stuck with a dilemma on how to shift him from Bombay to Bangalore and I thought that taking the train was way too risky since I'm traveling alone and I just didn't want to take that risk so I decided to research a little bit on Air India and how to travel with your cat and the lack of information on the internet disappointed me to say the least I don't know why Mochi is being a grumpy little cat but he's usually much more um, okay with the camera but today he's just got his own little tantrums basically i'm just gonna like keep it super simple i'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible i've got a couple of clips and i finally upgraded to an iphone so now the filming quality is so much more better um yeah the clips are gonna be from the android phone it's gonna be a little bit wonky but just bear with me guys i tried my best i tried to film as much as footage as possible and without much ado let's get started let's get started with how to prep for taking your cat on an airline via air india step one is to book your ticket from air india and once you've booked your ticket you just need to remember that every flight can accommodate only two pets you know so just remember to make it well on time on the airport the chances of another passenger having a pet is extremely low as it is and i was not worried about that but even then i was at the airport at least five hours in advance before we do all of this a couple of days prior you need to make sure that you're able to contact the manager at the domestic airport or the domestic terminal and you know just ask them if it's allowed or if it's not most cases they will tell you to just call up air india support but don't worry guys it's just this endless loop between air india and the airport manager so i at the end i just gave up and i went with my gut instincts and everything turned out just fine so i'll be showing you guys the bag that i took mochi in i'll keep in a couple of footages here i'm also gonna link this bag down it's available on amazon so you can check the link in bio if you are comfortable taking your cat in a backpack you can take your pet in the same backpack that i took mochi and he loved it super breathable super comfortable and you know it was so much more easier to carry him on my backpack than carrying him like this you know like in a normal bag or a carrier make sure that your carrier is big enough for your pet and make sure that you know you're at the airport at least four to five hours prior to your flight because this process will take you some time trust me and 48 priors aka two days before your flight go to your vet so go to the vet and ask them to give you like a fitness certificate for your pet cat and they'll do it for you so mochi had like you know his booster left and he just quickly got it done a couple of days before his flight uh thank god i noticed that i didn't get his booster done in time but yeah we got it done and then you know we got this certificate like this paper keep it safe keep all the vaccine report cards you know like safe as well like in a file so your vet usually will give you all your certificates in this file keep that super safe and keep it with you keep it on hand when you're entering the security okay so to keep it simple step one get your fitness certificate 48 hours prior to your flight make sure that your cat is old enough to travel as well because i don't know the loopholes if your baby is like a kitten so i'm not really sure about that but my cat was around you know nine months ten months old now he's around that age so he's more than fit and healthy to fly and it's not a big deal but yeah if your cat is like way too underage like a baby like a newborn i think they may not allow your kitten to travel out of safety issues and step two you're gonna walk up to the security desk nobody's gonna ask you anything in security you just walk in and you're gonna go straight to the customer care desk uh, for your pet and you can just inform that you know you have a pet cat that's all i did i went to the desk of air india when i entered the airport so i have a pet cat so what do i do now 
and so they will tell you to just go ahead go into the check in so you're going to wait in line with all the other passengers this is why you need to report at least 4 hours ahead of time because i was stuck there were so many people and it was driving me mad okay so you're going to go straight ahead and by then they inform the person at you know the desk that we have a passenger with a pet so this was how it was for me the experience may vary for you as well and um, it varies from person to person but most probably it's going to be like this they're going to inform the person at the check in counter that there's someone with a pet and after that it was pretty much smooth sailing i had to sign a couple of like you know documents like like one paper i or one or two papers i had to sign um that stated that you know they are not responsible for my pet under any circumstance and you need to wait for your captain's like approval and most probably he will give it there is no reason why they will decline a pet on their uh, airline and after that is just a waiting game so i was just waiting for the captain's approval until then after i signed that ticket so they are going to charge your pet around um, 600 and something per kg so this chonky boy was around uh, 3 kgs like barely hitting 3 kgs so i was uh, basically charged around 1200 and not more than that and i found that very affordable come on that's more affordable than the extra baggage charges that you guys have to usually pay and after that i have to pay for the pet ticket it's called a pet ticket so after signing the documents at the front desk you will end up going to the billing counter and you'll pay the amount according to your pet's weight you just go from the billing counter back to the same check in counter that you came from and they'll give you your boarding pass so now with this boarding pass you can go ahead and make your way through security check security check in can be a little bit of a hassle for people that have very aggressive cats you know cats that meow too much or cats that don't like being put in carriers and all that so you can sedate your cats if you want to but i did not find it necessary for this cute little boy he's so so cute and he's so docile that you know everybody loved him the air hostesses found him so cute and you know he was just silent the entire trip he did not meow even once not even in the bag so basically you just have to make your way through security check in this is where it gets tricky and this is where the security guard will expect you to remove your cat from the carrier so that they can x-ray the bag okay so mochi here was just like sleeping on my was just on my shoulder the whole time when i had to go and do my ch- security check so i kept his bag through the tray and i went in and the female guard was just like scanning me and then mochi was just like his entire arm was around my neck so yeah it, and it was pretty cute like i absolutely loved this experience i did not find it hectic i did not find it scary for one moment and i knew deep down that everything would be fine with my cat and basically you need to remember that the weight limit for a cat is around 6 kg so if he's exceeding 6 kg basically they would have to put him in the place where all the luggage is go so they they have this little area designated for pets and it has like oxygen regulation and all that so you don't have to worry about that but i'm just saying if your cat is like overweight and fat like he's going to go down there with the luggage and they they may not allow him to sit with you so when you're on the actual flight um these are some rules you cannot open the bag under any circumstance you cannot feed your pet under any circumstance you know you cannot like just unzip your bag and just keep your hand in i didn't do that either um like mochi was pretty much so docile and sleepy he was on my lap the whole time and we were given the final a uh, seat so the last seat is what you will get and all the people who have a pet you know on the flight have to sit in the last seat so i was sitting with another passenger on my you know uh, right side on my middle and they were very nice and nobody really bothered much about the cat he was just sleeping pretty pretty smooth process honestly i hope this answered your doubts all you have to do is get a fitness certificate the day of the flight arrive at least 4 to 5 hours early go straight to the customer desk support of air india they will inform the people at the check in counter about you and your pet go through the check in check in will measure your cat and they'll make you sign a couple of documents or forms then you're going to pay for your cat's weight and for your cat's pet ticket which will be around 1200 to 2000 depending on how um much their weight is and after that go back to the counter get your boarding pass for yourself and for your cat and that's it that's pretty much it it is so simple guys i hope you guys like this uh, video i hope you guys like the footage that i've like put in here uh, it was a pretty fun trip for me and my baby 
Mochi is like an adorable little chunky boy and he behaves so well and you know I wouldn't have been able to do this without him actually like cooperating so if your cat is a little feisty just make sure that she's you know like sedated or you know just make her calm i don't know just feed her some catnip or something but like yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys if you guys have any doubts or questions feel free to comment them down below and i will answer them uh, as much as i can and i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys loved seeing mochi for the first time i've not really brought him on this channel much I think I have but I'm not sure. I've never like formally introduced him like this. But yeah, that is it for today's video and I'll see you guys in my next. Oh, before I go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because if you guys want more videos on my cat on how to take care of him or how to take care of a Persian cat, I would love to make some more videos on this topic. I'm finally reviving my YouTube channel again. I keep saying this every time. But yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. Share this video to your friends and family. if they would like to travel you know in an airplane with a pet cat and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys